When the provincial government in Saskatchewan withdrew from the Freshwater Fish Marketing Act, it opened the door for fishers to sell their catch independently instead of to the Freshwater Fish Marketing Corporation. However, things haven't gone quite as expected. The result is a very different marketplace for fishers in Saskatchewan and a very different relationship with freshwater. I was actually one of the ones that wanted to pull out of freshwater. Uh, I was in every meeting there was uh, in Prince Albert and it took us three years to pull out and uh, basically the main reason and understanding is that we had to do something in order that we had to get better pricing for our fish. With, the, with, with fresh water you have a steady place to sell your fish but at the same time the price went down so drastically that you, you had a hard time to make everything meet so when they opt out it was a good thing because these other buyers came that wanted to pay more. In addition to potentially better prices some fishers opted out of the act based on discussions of new buyers and a potential new plant in Prince Albert. Unfortunately neither the buyers nor the plant have materialized. Us as fishermen uh, just don't have enough you know uh, collateral in order to put up a, a, a big plant in, in Prince Albert. It was going to cost us roughly about eight million to build and we were hoping that our Saskatchewan government would come on side and you know give us a hand and you know put in a couple million to that we need to start it off and uh, that didn't turn out. So when we opted out of fresh water uh, we found ourselves not knowing what we, we would do in order to sell our fish. Simple reason is there was never any uh, plan for a guaranteed plan of what was supposed to take place. Everything has been <laughs> taken for granted more or less. I know I wasn't happy that they were even trying without having something in place that to counteract it. The big thing is we need some place to to sell our fish and without fresh water we we had nothing. But even without the act, fresh water is there for the fishers they have worked with for so many years, offering them one-year contracts, albeit under different terms. Right now with the, the contract, some of the services will be cut off from uh, fresh water. They won't give us any, that much services. Just like, for example, EEI, it's up to the agent now to co-opt, to collect, you know. And uh, final payments, this will be our last final payment this year. But after that, will be no more final payments. Yeah, a, lot, a lot of the fishers don't understand what actually the corporation does. And it, it actually has happened in, uh, in Saskatchewan where they're, they're realizing w what freshwater was doing for them in the terms of having a registered facility, being able to cross borders and having all the, the requirements to do so. And those were things that people never thought of before they decided to opt out. Well, this is the first year. I don't know what's going to happen after that. But at least we're signing contracts. We would, we would sign contracts for three years, but we're just trying it out for one year. Where we are now, I mean, if we have to sign yearly contracts till things work out, that's what we'll, that's what we'll do. A lot of the negative feelings that I've felt from fishers have been things that have happened in the past. And a lot of it is trying to find out what happened in the past from the fisher's point of view and trying to find if there's any way we can correct any way I can correct it or at least understand why they're feeling the way they are. Fishing is a tough industry and so we have to have somebody that we can depend on definitely. I mean it's, it's our bread and butter for the like for me it's my bread and butter in the winter time. Simple as that. Even with the changes in Saskatchewan, freshwater will be there for fishers who want to sell their catch to them. It's about good business for freshwater and for fishers. For more information on the freshwater fish industry, join us on Lake to Plate TV.